Okay, you're still there. So let's talk about some of the more advanced settings in this camera. Uh, the camera actually, if I turn it back on again, um, you can shoot either, you'll notice that it flips the play button and the camera stuff because the camera will automatically take care of making sure that it's always wide, um, meaning, you know, horizontal. Um, so you can hold the camera pretty much in any direction you want to and it'll still shoot very good video. Uh, what you can do is, um, the, the most important thing about any of uh, video work is the sound. Believe it or not, video is always going to be pretty good, but if the sound is horrible, um, then the video in general all around is just not going to be very good. That being said, we actually have a couple of devices at PEPS that you can check out in addition to this camera and get a lot better audio. Um, one of those things would be a Sennheiser mini mic. Uh, these are great little shotgun mics. It's a condenser mic, meaning that it's powered. It needs power to actually run, but it can pick up sound from very far away. It's a really good mic, and used in conjunction with this video camera, you can shoot frighteningly great video with it. Um, you're going to ask yourself, though, hey, man, on this camera, where in the world do I plug in, put this thing? I can't mount it to the camera. I don't understand how that works. Well, the nice thing about that is we have flash brackets. These are actually meant to be used for uh, digital still cameras and flashes, but they work just fine for putting on a microphone. So I can actually stick the microphone on here, just like that, and then I can attach this camera to a little wheel doohickey on the bottom. Let me awkwardly do this on the video. I'm so happy. Um, doo -doo -doo. Get that on there. Obviously, you want the camera to be sideways, not right on there. <clears throat> and then you can take your little cable here and plug it into the headphone microphone settings. And you're all set to shoot. It uh, still has a tripod mount on the bottom, so you can actually mount this on a tripod. And believe it or not, it's going to be just as high a quality video as if you use some sort of big standard tape camera. Um, <clears throat> so now that I have this on here, I'm actually going to turn on the camera by hitting the side thing here. And then we're just going to check our settings. You'll see that because we've plugged something in, it says, what? You've plugged something in. What should I do with that? Well, you have to tell it what it is. Is it a microphone or is it headphones? Well, <laughs> we just plugged in a microphone. So now I can say, hey, it's a microphone. Make sure when you're using any of our PEPS cameras <clears throat> that you turn the microphone on. Um, when you do that, this little battery button will flash quickly once and then turn itself off to save battery life. Uh, but unless this is actually on, then frankly you're not going to have any audio whatsoever. When you tell a camera that you've plugged in an external microphone, the camera turns off its own internal microphone and only listens to what you're plugging in. If you don't turn on the, the microphone, then frankly there's not going to be any audio and that's really embarrassing when you turn that into your professor. Alright, so I've done that. I'm going to go to my settings. <clears throat> and you'll see that it actually has microphone gain. So I can actually change just how loud the volume is by plusing or minusing the thing. Um, you basically want to make sure that it hovers right around in that yellow area. Don't go any further than that. Uh, so that's kind of how you use this external mic thing. Um, there's a whole bunch of other settings that I'm just going to kind of quickly go through because, hey, you stuck around. But if you don't want to go through all the other settings, you just want to learn about the mic, then we can stop there. Um, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep going. So I'm going to take this off for now because, really, it's awkward. And I'm going to show you some of the other settings <coughs> that are inside the Kodak Zi10. So we've already talked about the video resolution. Those are the different settings for how uh, large the video is. Um, <clears throat> it has a share function. Uh, you can actually plug in your Facebook account, your Flickr account, your YouTube account, any of those kind of things, and it'll automatically, when you get it into a computer, send it to those places. Um, <clears throat> folks, don't do these things. You don't want to share your Facebook with PEPS employees later and give us passwords that we can then hack into your account and write really embarrassing things on your status. So generally, you'd probably just want to avoid the share settings, okay? That, just saying. Um, safe mode. I really have no idea what safe mode means. It defaults to off, so we're just going to leave that off. Microphone gain I talked about. That's for turning up and down. Ooh, there we go. See, microphone. The built-in microphones on these are actually pretty good, just to be honest with you. You don't always need to borrow this big, giant, huge thing. You can actually just um, borrow just this, the thing itself. 
Um, <clears throat> sounds on LED, that's just making click sounds when you do something. Um, actually, with a touch screen, it's nice to have a click because it, you know you've actually done something. So I'm going to leave that on. LCD brightness, this is uh, just for if you are in a you know, high sunny place, you want to turn on the LCD so it's brighter so you can view things, or you can have it on normal or whatever. So I'm just going to leave it on normal. LCD glare shield feature. Honestly, don't worry about this. Has a couple of other things. Digital image stabilizer. Um, one thing that's really, really horrible to see is video that's really shaky. Um, that makes people like, have motion sickness issues a little bit ill when they're watching your video. So having digital image stabilization on is pretty good. It doesn't, it's not, I mean, if you're shaking the camera around like that, it's not going to be great. But um, if you're just holding the camera very carefully and you have a little bit of a shake to your hand, the digital image stabilization is a really good thing. So that's why we always leave it default to on. Face attack and backets. You can actually, this thing again, can find oblate spheroids um, and actually focus on them. Uh, I, you know, it's, it's handy, I suppose. Um, video output. NTSC or PAL. Um, these are basically just standards of video types in the world. NTSC is uh, America and Japan, and PAL is pretty much everywhere else in the world. Since we are in America, we do default to NTSC. Um, really, these aren't going to matter as long as you're doing computer and standard web stuff. It's only going to matter if you are actually worrying about burning DVDs and things like that. Um, so I'm leaving it default to NTSC because that's where we live. Date and time. Um, whoop, whoa, 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 cancel. Um, <clears throat> date and time. It's probably a good idea to set dates and times on these things. We don't really bother at PEPS, but if you want to have time stamped things, if you're doing interviews for professors and you have to have specific, I know that I shot this video on X time at X date, um, you're going to want to make sure you actually hit the settings in here. Uh, it has a couple of different languages, format SD cards, abouts, reset settings, etc. Um, you are probably, if you are really interested in making the best use out of your uh, SD card, you might want to format the SD card and make sure that actually um, what this does. Are you sure you want to format? Confirm. Yes. Um, <clears throat> what this does is it actually completely wipes the card. Uh, why would you want to completely wipe the card? Well, if you've gotten all of your video off of this camera, it's in your computer, it's already been uploaded to YouTube or to Facebook, you're all done and you're returning the camera to PEPS, you might want to do the uh, format SD card because it'll wipe the card clean of all of your own personal stuff and clean it off for the next user. Um, if you leave really embarrassing things on here, I can't promise that they won't make their way to YouTube somewhere, so you have been warned. So those are all the main settings in this little thing. Um, there are actually uh, effects you can put on it. Uh, high saturation, 70s film, black and white, sepia. Um, <clears throat> it's set on normal. If you are really that boring, uh, you can do that. I would actually suggest shooting in normal, however, because you can always add effects later with iMovie or Final Cut Pro or Premiere or Avid or whatever video system you're using um, that will be a lot more realistic than what the camera is going to do for you. Uh, <clears throat> that's the end of this video. I hope you uh, enjoy shooting with the Kodak ZI-10s. They're pretty nifty. We like them. And if you have any questions, you can always get a hold of us at PEPS at the Idea Lab in the White Center of Creativity at Carleton College. Thanks very much, folks. Bye.